Good morning. I'm going to talk about the Blue Star first. The Blue Star service banner originated in 1917 during World War I when a U.S. Army captain designated and patented it to honor his sons who were serving on the front line of the war. The banner features blue stars on a white background for each active duty service member in the family. There can be as, at most five stars. If the family member dies while in service, the blue star was then switched to a gold star. A blue star family consists of immediate family members of a service member during time of conflict, while a gold star family is the immediate family members of a fallen service member who died while serving in a time of conflict. Blue Star families display a Blue Star service flag, while Gold Star families display a Gold Star service flag to honor their fallen loved ones. Thank you, John. That was John Kinlan. He is the commander of the Sons of the American Legion at Squadron 189. Okay. I'm going to ask our then mother, Michelle, to come up and just say a few words and gather her, her troops. Good morning. Thank you all for being here today. I'm honored and humbled to be a part of this service and I'm grateful for the presentation. As was explained, we both star mothers and families. We all suffered a loss and a grave loss. I, I am grateful for the Sebastian 189 family, the American Legion, who are part of this, VFW 10210, and for our Sebastian area honor guards. What I'm going to do, because Peter asked me to keep it short, so I'm going to try to, I'm going to um, introduce the Gold Star mothers and fathers and family whom I know are here. If there's someone and I, didn't, and I missed you, please stand up and say, hey, Michelle, you missed me, because we didn't know who was coming, and I'm going to do my best. First of all, I would like to have Karen and Mark Zook, who are Gold Star parents of their son, Ian, who was killed in Iraq. And they also lost another son, Joshua, who was killed in a car accident um, almost a year ago. Karen and Mark Zook. We have Tammy Thurber and her son CJ is here. And Tammy lost her son Brandon in 2018 in a motorcycle car accident. And CJ lost his beloved brother. Bill and Kathy Canal. Bill lost his uncle in World War II. His body was never recovered. And what Phil told me is his uncle, Joe Canalicchio, first place he ever had something in memorial of his passing was in Vero Beach at the Gold Star Grove. So now we have one more place where his uncle is also remembered. Bree Kozlowski who is a Gold Star wife. She lost her husband, Michael. Robert Huddlebeck and Robin lost their son, Zachary. I lost my son, Army Corporal Dale J. Pidlo, in Afghanistan in 2010. I'm grateful for all who are here, all who came to be here this very special day for the Gold Star Monument, and I am remiss, but I forgot one person, Tammy, what's his name? Bruce Thurber also is a Gold Star grandfather. I'm sorry I missed you, sir. Yes. And uh, once again, thank you for being here. There's a little bit of an impromptu. I hope I got to everybody. and. You got to me, 
Oh, yes, I did forget somebody. Oh, my God, there he is standing looking at me saying, Hey, Michelle, what about me? My, <laughs> my husband, Ken. Uh, <laughs> and, and thank you for me spotting him or I would have never lived it down. God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, while we have the families all up here, I'm going to ask that you all gather around the monument. For the, you're going to do this unveiling it as a group, okay? And I'm going to get out of the way so people can take pictures because I know they're going to want to. So if you would all just come and gather around the monument, whoever stands on that corner, watch the uh, sign that's there, and I'm going to get the heck out of the way. gentlemen, at this time we gave you each a white carnation. We would ask that you lay it at the stone stating the names of your loved one so that every time we mention their name they are not forgotten. And as long as we continue to do that, they will never be forgotten. So I would ask this time, just mention their name, lay it somewhere at the base of the stone. Thank you. The family members are acknowledging their loved ones lost. And I'd advise everybody to remember, Joseph M. you die twice in this lifetime. Once when your body fails, and the second time when nobody mentions your name. So when visiting a friend or comrade, loved one, be sure to mention their name at the stone. They're not forgotten. And they never will be if we teach our children to do the same. So as much as this is for adults, this is also for children. They need to learn these things. Everybody's got their, their uh, carnation down? Okay, then I would ask you to come back to your seats and we'll wrap this up. This time I would ask the Lord if he would not at least bless this stone as it contains so many lives, loved ones, and memories and keep it strong as it is today, a hundred years from now. Amen. Amen. Okay. I would like to introduce Earl Eisenbach. He is the chaplain from Squadron 189. He's going to read a prayer for the Gold Star families. Uncover. Uncover, please. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we humbly now seek thy divine grace and mercy and on all who are with us today and especially gracious Lord, the Gold Star families and their loved ones who are no longer here and with us today. Please, Lord, let each one know that their loved ones are resting comfortably in your care. 
and that they may be assured that they may be together one day. And now, O oh gracious Lord, as we leave here today, let each one of us understand that the person next to and beside and behind us is, is part of a support group for them in their times of need. And that their loved ones who offered everything in defense of this nation will not be forgotten as long as we will come to gatherings such as this and remember them. We pray this in your gracious name, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, just as an aside, this was the unveiling of the stone today on, sep on September 29th. Next month, the end of the month, will be the next Gold Star Family Day. And we will be out here to actually dedicate the stone to them on that day. So uh, we're not really sure if the heat's going to continue. We're going to do it earlier in the morning. Um, or perhaps 6 o'clock at night. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. If this heat doesn't break, I, you may find me melted here. Uh, I'd like to, uh, everybody would be invited back that day. I'd just like to, to note that this was a, a cooperative effort through the American Legion Post 189 families, the Legion, the Auxiliary, the Sons and the Riders. It is also in cooperation with the Sebastian Area Veterans Honor Guard and VFW Post 10210, our neighbor right next door. I, I, I don't think there's ever been a uh, cooperative effort like this done here before. And I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Christine? Ah, I didn't forget you this time. Okay. What's her name, Karen? Thank you. Everyone, would you please stand? <clears throat> Honor Guard, please retire the colors. If anybody's melted, let us know. We'll get the broom and sweep up. Thank you all for being here. This does conclude our service today. And again, with the heat, thank you all for being here with us.